song. Um, we've got a big box and a big box and a littler box. This one is from PetSmart. And you know how some of sometimes you guys will give me a heads up when things are coming. I got maybe <laughs> maybe 15 emails caught up today. Not very many compared to what I'm so far behind. So please be patient. I'm trying really hard. And um, um, so if somebody emailed me something about an incoming box, other than I did get Jack Cat's message, I'm oh oh I'm uh might be behind. Did I see my sister Nancy? Oh, Nancy, hey hi, my sister Nancy. Hi, how are how's everything? Just give me one second, you guys. Oh, Nancy, do you have your audio on? Nancy might not have her audio on. Once the last time she didn't. Somebody could you just tell maybe Sherry? Maybe Sherry, you could just tell Nancy I'm, I said hi, because I bet she doesn't have audio. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get started. My sister's on there. Is she? Yeah, but I sometimes she can't get do the audio thing with her thing, so I just held up a letter. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> so this one is from PetSmart. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. This one's from PetSmart. And we got a card. I'm peeking. Um, this is, oh. Who is being our catetary with that again, please? I know we had a catetary, a secretary. <laughs> oh, yeah, Goss. Thank you. Okay, Goss. We have a Brittany. B-R-I-T-T-N-E-Y-H from Florida. And uh, this is from PetSmart. And that's why this was so heavy. Lots of noise for a second. And those dogs can stay out a little while. No, I barked when I came. Yeah, they barked and barked and barked, so I put them back up. Okay, yeah, they can see it. Okay, and we have, yeah, we have 20 pounds. Nice. Mm hmm. Uh, tell you, cat. So, thank you. Thank you. Um, this came from PetSmart. And Brittany is in Winter Park, Florida, and the lady in the green sweater is Pam. She's our always mon our always our Wednesday night volunteer. Mm -hmm. I, I, so Brittany, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna take this over here while I'm gone. I always wonder what our UPS guys think about all these heavy heavy bags um, and we I gave our UPS guy uh, a little gift card today from Walmart and I think he was really surprised but gosh he carries in so much stuff for us and we always appreciate it this one is also from PetSmart we got a new blade in here oh this is nice 
says, wow. And this also is from Brittany H. I wonder if Brittany's a, a chatter. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Oh, here we go. What is that? Twenty pounds? I know that's very crinkly in the in the microphone. Oh. Twenty pounds or sixteen pounds of friskies. Surfin turfin flavor right. Thank you. You that is so nice of you to send that to us. Thank you, Brittany. I appreciate that very much. I'm going to set it on the other side. You guys can you guys uh, can eat. We got food for you. Putter likes Jeremy. Putter likes Jeremy. Jeremy, come here. Aw, isn't he an awesome cat? Isn't he big? <laughs> yeah, him, him and his creakly old bones. We'll let you guys play with that paper. And, wow, so now they can eat and now they can go potty. That's always a good combo for us. And now we have a box. Well, it says Precious Cat Ink. And it's from Colorado, Inglewood, Colorado. Yeah. So we will see. We'll have to ask Stacy when she is Stacy in there. Yeah. 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 Do you want to ask her if she's seen a box that was labeled with her name on it? No. Okay. So no Stacy box. Oh. <laughs> this is not from a web camera. Um. I don't know if you've all heard of Dr. Elsie's Cat Attract. It's a kitty litter additive, I guess. And you, actually, I, I do buy the Cat Attract sometimes. And we've recommended it for um, cats who sometimes are inappropriately using their litter boxes, a, a.k.a. not using it at all. <laughs> and uh, so there's something in that Cat Attract that... Uh, well, one of our volunteers uh, called last week, and she has a cat that isn't wasn't using the box and hadn't been for a long time, and she started using the cat attract, and the cat is using the box now, so hopefully things will go better. But um, the this uh, business is sending these uh, as a shelter starter kit, and this is the stuff that you can put in your already. Um, full litter box, you know, with that already has a regular litter in it. You can mix this in it. Pam, you want to try a couple of these and see if that works? Well, I was just what you were saying that about yeah. those four kittens and their yeah. mother that absolutely refused to use the pan. Yeah. I wonder if that would have happened. Well, or, or with any your others. Since you got yeah. so many, why don't you try a couple? Yeah, if I've got one yeah. that's uh, yeah, try another it. kitten that doesn't care to use the pan. Try it and see. Um, I've been very, always very impressed. It helps really bring problem cats one. back to the litter box and um, well, I sure will. There's a lot of good good stuff about this, so uh, we like this. And they also send brochures, and then I stick these inside the adoption bags, and then these are also for that, too. So we like that very much. I'll put this over here. So Brittany and Catatract. And then we have a letter, and this is from Jane W., from Massachusetts, Jane W. from Massachusetts. This is how I almost, were you on when I almost ripped, cut that one? Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What, I saw the little paper in there go sliding over, and it's like, I think that was a check. I, just, uh, I did get the bottom, but the bank took it today. I thought I'd done it badly. So Jane is JW from Massachusetts. Oh, isn't that cute? Kind of like a putter up in the air with angels. And it says to Jackie, Steve, Stacy, and all the volunteers and kitties, 
Thanks so much for all you do. I was in um, Ireland a few weeks ago and found this card. I thought it would be different in any language. Wishing you a healthy health and peace in the new year. Love, Jean. And Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy new year. And Jean's uh, webcam name is Calico17. And Goss, if you could put on there that she also included a donation, I would appreciate it. And check out the the link, the writing there. <laughs> we get things from all over. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Calico. Appreciate that very much. I know. Yep. Yeah, you can always tell when Siri's around because you can hear her. Hear. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I heard yeah. that earlier. Yeah, but that's just the way she is. Well, I just wanted to tell you, and you know Queen of Kings is here, Maria and her husband, Jeremy, and they brought the most awesome, awesome, what should we call that, the mansion. It's three levels, stands up on four four um, legs, uh, probably about start the first one like this far off the ground, and then there's three layers about this thick, so probably the top one, would you say, Jeremy, like this? Two, it's five and a half feet with the house on the top. Five and a half feet, then with a, a penthouse on top. So it's how how hey, wide? Four feet. four feet wide, both ways, five and a half feet tall. And then with this big penthouse, cat house that goes on the top. But what's really cool about it is he's got a laser woodworking tool. And so he's drawn in lots of decorations. Uh, well, there's one big fish that's cut out. It's like for a, the cats to go in and out. There's a head silhouette that's designed after their cat, and that's all cut out, and the cats can go in and out through the head. And then um, Sylvester's mm -hmm. Saloon, was it, is etched out in the wood. And what was this fish one? Oh. Where are you going home, girl? Something market. Some yeah, some kind of fish market. There, it's just awesome. It's really, really cool. And Queen took pictures of it and gonna should be able to get them up tonight. Yeah, she's yeah. gonna try to get them up on the Facebook, on the Facebook there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so then you'll be able to see it. It's just awesome. And inside Kitty City in the main big big room that they have, it's right smack in the middle of that. And so this is a huge wonderful thing for those kitties. They were already going in and out of it. And there's some there's two places where there's a door. Probably a little bit bigger, well, yeah, bigger, maybe twice as big as this paper, and it flips up and back so the kitties can go back and forth in there. So yeah. it's pretty cool. It says, thank you, Queen and Hubby. Thanks, Queen and Hubby. And then we have a cat on hold. Some of you might have seen the, there was a, a, no, a little older kitty. Who is that? Or, I mean, a little older lady that was here this afternoon. And she wants a cat to keep her company. She was kind of thinking of um, Mercy, but then Diane, or no, no, no. No, no, it wasn't Diane. It was Sigrid, like Mercy, too. But um, she's going to go with Whiffin. Uh, Whiffin was in her lap and rubbing on her and doing all that. So the first week of January, she'll be back to adopt Whiffin. And then uh, you all know Loyal, the cat that we think is older than what we thought. Um, Judy E. that was here this afternoon helping with Greg. She's the one who was doing all that feeding that I told you where she had to go from one property to the next property to the next property and then behind the bush. Judy E. is the one who brought him in that's been um, helping him all this time. She's already looked really, really good. We still have a chronic eye problem with him, and um, but it's much better than what it was because of the antibiotics. So uh, she just was real pleased with how he looked. Octavia, be careful. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, the little, there was a little boy and a little girl here. Well, they were about so tall that was here today. They come with their mom and dad just, I don't know, maybe four or five times a year. They just stop in and play with the kitties. So I've seen them over the years. They've grown up. And um, they each gave me a dollar. The little girl wanted her dollar to go for toys, and the little boy's dollar was supposed to go for food. So I thought that was really very, very sweet. Um, 
the Mookie and Noogie, you know that these two kitties are down there at Uncle Eric's. And you know probably that his sister has been down there visiting her since a little bit before Christmas. Well, probably about a week before Christmas. And she's got another, what would it be, like six or seven days yet. And I keep telling you how she really likes the... I knew it. <laughs> she really likes Nuki and Nugi. She is going to take them. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> oh, man, I've been hoping and hoping and praying that would work out. So she is going to take them. Um, she, dro she drove here, so it's no big deal. Um, she can take them in, uh, in her vehicle. She's already got the crate. And uh, she, I know when I would talk to them and go down, she was hooked. And But I wasn't sure of her situation at her home. Um, would allow her to do that and it does so she's excited and I'm excited and it's really nice because these two cats as you know have been very shy and she's worked and worked and worked um, just bonding and playing and loving and coaxing them over and feeding them and doing all the care for them and they're very comfortable with her so this is a cool thing, and I'm sure the first day or two at that new place will be a little scary, but it's going to be a great thing. So, Noogie and Nuki, we're going to put down as officially adopted, and um, I'll put that on the board out there and add two more adoptions for December of 2011. Um, I have, we have the two new kitties. I, I was, I actually, I was heading to the office because uh, some of you. Webcamers um, have sent me name suggestions, and I was heading to the office to get those names when I saw Queen and Jeremy pull in, so I never got that far yet. So I got all excited. So um, we'll get names on them tomorrow. But the first one that came in last night, we did the test this morning, and that one is a tortie. It's got a nice long gold stripe down the face. And she was just found in somebody's yard. And, oh, my goodness, all you have to do is look at her. Doesn't she, Pam? Purr, purr, purr. Oh, oh yeah. She's, yep. so She's me, really yeah. a sweet kitty. Yeah, she's just so loving, those two eyes. So it looks like her, she's got some major eye problems, I told you. It appears that her eyes are intact, but they're very receded in. in and sunk in. Um, and they do look. A little flat like maybe some of the fluid has been lost out of the eye so we're treating them and uh, we'll see how she goes but oh my goodness she's a doll it's a tortie a black oh, and gold tortie and she's doing great and then the second one that came in this morning somebody called said they were out last night in their car you know and remember we had that icky wet heavy well it wasn't even a heavy snow it was just wet snow rain and so everything was really wet, and this kitty was soaking wet. They picked it up, took it home, dried it off, and they noticed on the back side of uh, the left, the, yeah, its left leg, that practic it's probably a wound about this long, and um, goes all the way all the way down. It's quite quite large, and it's open, but the muscle is intact. So we trimmed it, scrubbed it, uh, clipped off edges that didn't need to be there, and have the kitty on two antibiotics and a soreness med. And that kitty is gray and white, another female, and that kitty is also absolutely wonderful. Really, really nice kitty. Is tested negative, negative, negative on all three things, so we're, we're good. Um, no, no stitches. Um, the... The, it's going to granulate in. It's long, but it's kind of narrow. It will granulate in. So we're going to let it do that. Uh, to put stitches in at this stage, the whole edges would have to be recut off, and um, which would make it even bigger. Could sew it together, but it's going to granulate in. I, I'm pretty sure that we're going to be able to go that route. And then we have a surprise for you webcamers. Um, this is something different, and I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because it's going to happen Saturday at 4, this Saturday, day after tomorrow, at 4 o'clock, we're going to move the cam, and just for like half hour, and, I, and we've got a longer cord on there now, so I can move the 
orange box that I always put the cam down on for nighttime. We're going to just slip it around into the office and put the cam in the office for a little while and uh, have a surprise in here for you. I've got a couple people that's going to help me. Yep, I like to tease you guys. You guys have done surprises for me, and this is another surprise for you guys. So 4 o'clock Saturday, and we should be about done, maybe around 4.30. But in the meantime, you'll get to watch the kitties um, in the office. I love it. See, this is payback for you guys' secret Facebook that I never knew about and can't get in. So, boom. So, yeah, this is my payback. But it'll be fun. I'm, I'm excited about it. So, I think that that's all I have, except I want to show you the new, two new kitties. So, hang on a second here. <laughs> I think it's more of a scared yeah. growl than it is a yeah. uh, mean growl. Because then oh, she growls out there too, but then she stops. And... Yeah, she's she's grumbling, but. Do you want the other one? Yeah, you want to get her? She's grumbling, but she's a fake. She's just not sure what's going on. She's going to be fine. Is Greg going to be the New Year's baby? I love that. Isn't she pretty? Hi, how's my baby cake? Aren't her eyes beautiful? As she's looking around the corner, like I know there's kitties in there. Ready for him. And here's the other one. Cam's got the other one. She's already Whoop. purring. Um, yeah. Right, there you here. go. Aww. Yeah, just Yeah, they're a little worried. You know, they they they've not been out here. You know, who knows what happened to them before they came. We do have them in um, the big silver pin and uh, Thumper's room together, and they seem to be doing okay together. Well, I guess just I don't think those are no, 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 no extra toes. No mittens. Yeah, it's hard to see her eyes there. Um, yeah, you just can't. yeah, you just can't see them there. Yeah. No, they came in separate. Um, this one was found just walking up towards the uh, porch of somebody. And this one is the one that was found along the street soaking wet last night. Oh, now stop. You're going to be just fine. See that red bed there? You can just crash in that tonight and sleep, okay? Oh, I'll look into the pool. Oh. oh. Can you get them both? Yeah, you look this way, okay? Oh, Don't look at the other kitty. That's your housemate, though. That's your friend. Um, so I think that's all I have. Does uh, anybody else have anything? I missed that. Well, no, I'm not saying the tortie's blind, but uh, we're not sure exactly what's going to happen with the eyes. Oh, aren't they cute? They really are cute. Um, the patties were both in the office sleeping, and whoops, wait, oh, yeah, you know what, the, met, my, the metal, M-E-D-A-L case, I took that out to my dad today. I told him I had a late um, Christmas present for him. And he was, of course, you know, laying down in his chair, his recliner. And so he sat up and, oh, I wonder if Nancy's still on. And um, I had it in a towel, and I took the towel off and showed it to him. And it was just awesome. I, I wanted to cry. He loved it. I just was so excited because, you know, when your parents are that age, it's hard to find something that they really like. You know, their needs are pretty limited. 
but uh, that was pretty cool. He he loved it. It was it was really cool. So he's usually in his recliner, and so there's a place right to the right of him where the wall is that we're going to put it on the wall there, so he can see it. And his his um he was in the military police, so I, I think I showed it to you guys. The whistle was there, and his um the MP signs that he wore, I think, on his lapels, and his dog tags and. It was pretty cool. My my mom is 87 uh, and dad is 89. Mom will be 80, 88 in just another month or so. And dad's 89 and a half. Yep. Amos is my boy. I have not heard yet from them. I know she's going to write us or call us. Um, do we know anything about the patties where they are at? Yeah, I still have both of my parents, and I'm very, very thankful. <laughs> Catman, I love that. Why does why does my four and a half pound old old Bengal cat in the house boss me around terribly bad? I know that Hannah loved the cards, um, but I'm waiting on something else from, from the mom yet. Yeah, they're, well, I, I love my mom and dad. I They're wonderful. I sure wish the patty, you know, I kind of wonder if they got lost somewhere because I haven't heard anything for a while. If anybody knows where the patties are, can you email me, please, and give me an update? So um, let me know because we, we might have to send out a um, all points bulletin and put the whole world on alert and find them for us. Wouldn't that be awful if they were lost somewhere? Patty, you're lost somewhere in the world. <laughs> Here's Patty Cake. Where's the other one? Oh, I think oh, he's okay. sleeping in there. Yeah, he's I still have a half conversation. The dude comes to talk with I she know. Always, she always keeps her tongue out like that. So, so when um, when Queen and her, her husband Jeremy walked in, it was pretty cool. And this I have found with so many of you webcamers, when you come here, you really do know your cat. She's You've been itty bitty. Yes. And and, and uh, Queen said the same thing that every other web camera that's come here is that they're much smaller than what they look like except, on the camera. Except Octavia and Emma, they're smaller. Or or wait, are they? They're smaller than what they look like. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. And and that's what the other ones have said too. And I'm always impressed because, like Queen, she knew the cats. I think you were almost a hundred. Almost a hundred. Well, and yeah, she didn't get derby, but I have to also look under their tail sometimes to see if there's a D or, <laughs> or a C. <laughs> or a C. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Um, um, I'm going to go in and check on Steve and see how he's doing. And uh, we've got a busy day. Let me check tomorrow's schedule. Tomorrow we have somebody coming in mid-morning to look at kitties, and then my sister Patty comes um, Friday in the afternoon. I'll be going to pick her up at the airport. So um, we will see you all later. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for your support. I'm working away on the emails, getting caught up. All is fine here. We're a happy bunch of people here. So thank you for being with us. Night, everybody.